Hey guys, Zach with Oceans East here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a tandem rig for trolling for rockfish along the Bay Bridge Tunnel and along any bridge really in the area. This time of year there's plenty of schooly stripers around in the 20 to 30 inch range and this rig's really deadly uh, and a really fun rig to pull on light tackle for these stripers. Alright, what you're going to need for this rig is a little section of 60 pound mono, some white curly tails, and two bucktails. Now you want these bucktails to be different weights. I've chosen a three ounce and a one ounce for getting it a little bit deeper right there into the strike zone along the bridges. I've picked out here a smaller grub tail. I don't want an oversized tail on these rigs because it creates resistance and it'll actually rise up in the water column. So I just want a little bit on there for a little added action onto the bucktail. So I chose these small little four inch grubs. All right, we're gonna string them on. You want the curly part of the grub to be facing up on your rig. So I'm going to kind of line it up and mark it with my thumb where it's going to come out. I'm going to thread it on. All right, we got a curly tail on there. One's finished. Now we're going to do the other one. All right, we have our three ounce and our one ouncer. Now we're going to tie our rig. All right, I've pulled off about a 15 foot section of this mono. First thing we're going to do is we're going to tie on our smaller bucktail. That's going to be the trailing bait and the heavier one's going to be the front bait. You can see the paint's covered the eye, so we're going to take the hook from the other rig and poke it through. All right, we have an open hole. Let's do the same with the other one. We're going to do an improved clinch knot here. Go through the center. Go one time around, twice, three, four through that original loop and back through the loop you just created. We're going to wet it a little bit and pull it down tight. Nice and snug. You have your tag end out there. Now we're going to trim it. All right, now we're going to measure our rig. We have this long piece of mono with the lighter bucktail on the end. We want this to be a much longer drop than the other rig. So I'm going to do an arm length. My arm span is five feet, so I'm going to do one, two, and now we're going to tie a loop in the line. All we're going to do is a double overhand right here. So we create a loop. We just went around, created that loop with a double line. We're going to go through it once and twice. That's going to create your loop to attach your snap swivel to. Now we have a much shorter line here, about four feet. And this is going to go on to the heavier bucktail. Same thing, improved clinch. And we'll trim. All right. So what we have here is our heavier bucktail on a dropper, a short three to four foot dropper, and then our lighter bucktail on about 10 feet. So what this rig's gonna do is it's gonna be like a three-way rig, and the heavier bait is gonna drop down, and the lighter one's gonna be trailing behind it. And you control these all along the bridges, uh, around birds schooling in the bay, um, any kind of structure. And it's a pretty deadly rig. Uh, you can try dropping the line to get it deeper if you're getting deeper marks, or pull it up high. And uh, it's a nice little snack for these fish. And uh, hopefully you catch two at a time, which happens pretty often. 